While many leading AI scientists expected brain-sized artificial intelligence models to arrive only by the end of the decade, a rather new company in that field already designed and released a world record chip which is meant to train AI models with more than 120 trillion parameters, which exceeds the size of the human brain by 20%. In addition to being able to train the largest models ever made, it also does so while only requiring a fraction of the other system's power. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you in what ways the new startups, Cerebra's system's world record AI acceleration chip is special compared to the AI chips made by other computer giants, what this means for the field of artificial intelligence, and finally, in what applications and how soon you will be able to make use of it. Cerebra's Systems, a Silicon Valley firm that makes the world's biggest computer chip, announced on Tuesday that it can now weave together almost 200 of their newest and most powerful chips to dramatically lower the amount of power used by artificial intelligence. Cerebras is one of a slew of companies developing AI-focused chips in an attempt to take on industry heavyweights NVIDIA Corporation and Alphabet Inc.'s Google. The business has received $475 million in venture financing and signed agreements with GlaxoSmithKline and AstraZeneca to utilize their chips to speed up medication research. Hundreds or even thousands of computer chips are traditionally produced on a wafer, a 30cm silicon disc that is then cut up into individual chips. Cerebras, on the other hand, utilizes the full wafer. The Cerebras chip is larger and can handle more data at once. However, artificial intelligence researchers now have AI models called neural networks that are too large to fit on a single chip, therefore they must distribute them across many processors. Even though the most advanced contemporary neural networks are only a fraction of the complexity of a human brain, they consume far more energy than human brains because the systems that operate them grow less power efficient as more chips are added. Cerebras said on Wednesday that it can combine 192 of its chips to train massive neural networks, but that the power efficiency would remain constant as the number of processors increases. In other words, Cerebras processors can accomplish twice as much processing for half the power, compared to existing systems, which require more than twice as much power to double their computing capability. Cerebras also enables innovative methods to minimize the amount of computing labor required to discover the solution, resulting in a faster time to answer. One of the most powerful levers for improving computing efficiency is sparsity. In the human brain, evolution favored sparsity. Neurons exhibit activation sparsity, which means that not all neurons fire at the same time. Because not all synapses are completely linked, they exhibit weight sparsity. Human-built neural networks contain activation sparsity that prevents all neurons from activating at the same time, but they are also specified in a very organized dense manner, making them over-parametrized. The principle behind sparsity is simple. Multiplication by zero is a terrible idea, especially when time and power are involved. Despite this, graphics processing units frequently multiply by zero. There are many different forms of sparsity in neural networks. Sparsity may be found in both the activations and the parameters, and it can be either organized or unstructured. The use of sparsity and other algorithmic methods to decrease the computation floating point operations per second necessary to train a model to state-of-the-art accuracy is becoming increasingly essential as the AI community grapples with the exponentially growing expense of training big models. Cerebra's technology allows a single CS2 accelerator, which is about the size of a dorm room refrigerator, to handle models with over 120 trillion parameters. Cerebra's Weight Streaming, a novel software execution architecture, Cerebra's Memory X, a memory extension technology, Cerebra's Swarm X, a high-performance connection fabric technology, and Selectable Sparsity, a dynamic sparsity harvesting technique are all part of Cerebra's new technological portfolio. For the first time, Cerebra's weight streaming technology allows model parameters to be stored off-board while yet offering the same training and inference performance as if they were on chip. This novel execution paradigm separates computation and parameter storage, allowing researchers to grow size and performance separately, while also removing the latency and memory bandwidth problems that plague huge clusters of tiny processors. This greatly simplifies the workload allocation approach and allows customers to grow from 1 to 192 CS-2s without making any software modifications. 
Memory X is a memory extension technique developed by Cerebras. Memory X will supply up to 2.4 petabytes of high-performance memory to the Cerebras wafer scale engine in the second generation, all of which will act as if it were on chip. CS2 can support models with up to 120 trillion parameters thanks to Memory X. Cerebras Swarm X is an off-chip extension of Cerebras Swarm, a high-performance, eye-optimized communication fabric. Cerebras will be able to connect up to 163 million AI-optimized cores over up to 192 CS-2s, all working together to train a single neural network, thanks to SwarmX. Selectable sparsity allows users to choose the weight sparsity level in their model, resulting in a direct reduction in floating point operations per second in time to solution. Weight sparsity is an intriguing topic of machine learning research that has been difficult to investigate due to its inefficiency on graphics processing units. Selectable sparsity allows the CS2 to speed up work by allowing it to employ any form of sparsity available, including unstructured and dynamic weight sparsity, to deliver faster results. With this mix of technologies, users will be able to easily unlock brain-scale neural networks and spread work over massive clusters of eye-optimized processors. Cerebras has set a new standard for model size, compute cluster horsepower, and scalability programming ease. Cerebras revolutionized the business by doubling the size of the biggest networks conceivable. Larger networks, such as GPT-3, have already changed the natural language processing environment, allowing for previously unthinkable possibilities. The industry has progressed beyond 1 trillion parameter models, and we're pushing it two orders of magnitude farther, allowing brain-scale neural networks with 120 trillion parameters. In the last several years, it has been demonstrated that insights scale directly with parameters in NLP models. The more parameters, the better the findings. Cerebra's innovations, which will give a 100-fold increase in parameter capacity, might revolutionize the sector. Scientists will be able to investigate brain-sized models for the first time, offering up huge new research and insight opportunities. The complexity and time necessary to set up, configure, and then optimize massive clusters for a given neural network is one of the most significant obstacles of employing them to address AI issues. The weight streaming execution paradigm is so elegant in its simplicity, and it enables for a much more fundamentally simple allocation of work among the tremendous computational capabilities of the CS2 clusters. Cerebras is eliminating all of the complexity we have today surrounding creating and efficiently using massive clusters with weight streaming, propelling the industry ahead on what I believe will be a transformative path. Cerebras makes massive cluster creation as simple as pressing a button by combining the concepts of weight streaming, memory X, and swarm X. Cerebras doesn't try to disguise distribution complexity with software. Cerebras, on the other hand, has created a completely new design that eliminates scaling complexity entirely. Because of the WSE2 size, there's no need to split a neural network's layers across many CS-2s, even today's biggest network layers can fit on a single CS2. Unlike GPU clusters, which contain distinct parts of the neural network for each graphics processor, each CS2 in a Cerebras cluster will have the same software configuration. Adding another CS2 has practically little effect on the work's execution, thus running a neural network on hundreds of CS-2s will appear to a researcher to be the same as running on a single machine. It will be as simple as generating a workload for a single computer and applying the same mapping to all the machines in the specified cluster size to set up a cluster. Cerebra's weight streaming technology enables users to run neural network applications on massive clusters of CS2 systems with the programming ease of a single graphics processing unit. I mean, things that I think that are really hard about uh, having a useful humanoid robot is can it navigate through the world without being explicitly trained? Uh, I mean, without explicit, like, line-by-line uh, -line instructions. Um, can, you, can you talk to it and say, you know, please uh, pick up that bolt uh, and uh, attach it to the car with that wrench, and it should be able to do that. Um, it should be able to, you know, please, you know, please go to the store and get me the following groceries. So what is your opinion on this new kind of AI acceleration chip that's claiming to create models which would surpass the cutting edge of artificial intelligence today by 100-fold? Do you believe their claims and what applications do you expect will arrive from this new technology? 
please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.